Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Teja Michelle, and I'm going to show y'all how I did this powder blue hair. Um, y'all know the drill when I tone these 613 wigs. Shimmer lights conditioner into hot water and just dip the wig in there. Okay, so I sectioned off the frontal from the rest of the hair because I like to make sure that the frontal part looks as natural as possible. Because when you dip in the water, sometimes the knots become too dark and it soaks up all the dye. So I did not want that. <laughs> Just showing y'all the dye I used and I'm rinsing the wig out now using cold water. When you guys rinse color out, make sure that you always use cold water because heat is going to strip the color. Any heat, like thermal heat, hot water, is going to strip the color. It's going to start fading because you're using semi-permanent dye. So keep that in mind. Y'all, the way I dyed this wig was a mess. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was like, girl, you act like you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, I had to dye the back of the wig. I had to make sure I didn't get the frontal in the water because I didn't want the knots too dark. That was the main thing I was worried about. But it all came out good, honestly. Just make sure that you dip the wig twice if you want it dark. Like, make sure you put a lot of dye in it. Cause it was kind of light, but I went back and I dyed it again. This wig actually came out so pretty. All my black hotties should get this color because it looks so good against my skin tone. But everything came out perfect. Um, if you guys want all the information, it will be down in the description. Check out my link tree, y'all. I have an Amazon store where you can get hot tools. Basically, all your wig essentials. I put everything that I use personally in there. But yeah, look at me. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.